Hi, I'm Carrie Shell from the Office of EdTech and Design. And today we are going to use content we have downloaded to our board and open it up in the whiteboard space. So I'm going to start in the browser and I'm going to be in my class link. From my class link, I'm going to open Think Central. In Think Central, you can choose your grade. Today, I'm going to demonstrate using third grade. Now, I want to open the student edition ebook and then choose PDF. Here from my list, I'm going to choose my modules. Touch and hold, and then select open and new tab. Now on my board, I'm gonna go back home. I'm going to select files and in the files, I'll make sure I am in downloads. And here is my download from today. When I touch it once, it opens into the whiteboard. In the whiteboard, I see my module and then I see gray space on either side. We're going to touch the number one over here. This opens the slide deck. It shows me all the things I've brought in with this download. Now on each section, on each one, there's three dots. When I choose the three dots, I wanna choose change page size to 16 by nine, the option in the middle. When I do this down at the bottom, I'm gonna select okay. And now you can see it's changed to white space on either side of my module. This image in the middle is now I'm able to move it. I might want to zoom and just focus on one part. I can also lock it by using the carrot, the little arrow at the top, I have delete or lock. So if I lock it, that means if I have a student come up and help me write on the board and show the work, they can't accidentally move it while we're working. Now I wanna get my pin, because the whole point of having this and the space on the side is to utilize both parts of it. So here, my students might be telling me the important parts they would be highlighting in the problem, right? to buy 24 juice boxes. For example, I'm highlighting my important information. My students are doing it in their book on their workbook. Then I can change over to the pin and I can draw in my space here or I can draw in my space over here. Each page, now if I click the arrows and I go to the next page, I see the same thing. I have to touch the three dots, change page size to 16 by nine, select okay. And here I have it. I could even enable my finger inking and have a student come up on this side and a student come up on this side and each student can be showing the work of the problem. So when I'm using my pen, my marker tool, I could write out my problem, right? Six times blank equals 12 and solve with my students and so on. Now, notice I have the white background. I can do the same thing when I touch the numbers and I select the three dots of the slide I'm on. I can also choose to change background. So here I can choose a format that could help me and my students complete our work. Notice I'm just touching anywhere on the board to touch out of that side space. Now my students and I are working, but perhaps I have students who are sitting towards the back of the classroom who are saying they're having a hard time seeing. What's great about using my whiteboard space is I can always connect my students with their device and whatever is happening up here is going to show on their screen. How we do that is there's two people icons. So not the image of you if you're logging in, it's the one below it. And I choose that and there's the option to start sharing. When you click that, now your students can access and see on their device. 
Now, if you're using Chromebooks, your students will go to their class link. They will find Smart Learning Suite and they'll use your class ID. It will not change. If you're using the iPads, you can also go through ClassLink and choose Smart Learning Suite, or you may be using your Lumio shortcut. If you haven't done the Lumio shortcut yet, check out our other video we have on how to add that to your iPads.